Well, hello, hello there. The Coliseum welcomes you, my friends. Merry Christmas, one and all. While we close in on the end of this, eh, what some might say quite disastrous 2023, let's hop back into standard and let's let's give in to the Coliseum and the contenders within. Discover Rakdos. Basically, we're playing a fun little Rakdos deck that has a couple little perks, namely a oh-so-balanced mechanic known as Discover. For those who are about, you know, pay about as attention as I do, then uh, you, if you don't know what this is, discover five. So, enters the battlefield, exile cards from the top of your library until you exile a non-land card with mana value five or less. You may cast it without paying the mana cost or put it into your hand, the rest go on the bottom. It's basically a fixed version of Cascade. Quite good. Yeah, I'm going to turn that down a little bit, even though it is pretty sweet. Hopefully I'm not turning it down too long. It's really loud in my ear, but it is awesome. Anywho. The idea being we get pure value. Here's our new Blood Bright Elf, and here's his big brother, the Trumpeting Carnosaur, which is great because the Carnosaur has the other perk of being a removal spell for three mana and discarding. So, what does this allow us to do? It allows us to curve into discarding a Trumpeting Carnosaur, be able to take down a potential threat, and then slapping Cruelty of Gix turn five, bringing back Trumpeting Carnosaur, and getting that sweet discover value. It is fantastic. Other than that, we are just playing a Rakdos mid-range game. We got Deep Cavern Fat for our hand control. This dude's awesome. Not to mention the ever-so-critical lifelink. Full set of Blood Tithe Harvester because, of course, Tenacious Underdog is a one-off for that late game value, baby. In our three drop, we got Preacher of the Schism, which I have come to love, whether it is a 2-4 with Death Touch or the ability to attack, create 1-1 one -one lifelinkers, or draw cards at the cost of a one life. Just a fantastic card. And you know, this entire time, maybe it's the art, the quality of the art. I thought it was legendary. So dumb. Anywho, we also have Gix, speaking of legends. Yawgmoth Praetor, be able to gain value from our dorks getting through. A two of because legendary and you don't always want them, but when you want them, he's fabulous. Of course, Shelly, because it's friggin' Shelly. I don't need to talk about Shelly. And then I got a lone Bone Horde Dracosaur because it just, it's that good. It dies 99% of the time, but if you make it back to your turn with this bad boy, value town, baby, value town. A removal sweep, got a pair of cut down, a pair of go for the throw, and a lone anoint with affliction. Unfortunately, we have no way to get corrupted. Because I don't even not even played Mirax here, so it's really just an exile effect for small creatures. As far as our sideboard goes, really we just load up on what we need. We got a bunch of removal in the form of cut down, anoint, go for the throw, a braid. Sweepers in the form of Brotherhood's End, Gix's Command. And we got our anti-control and discard, we gotta extract the truth. This has the perk of also being able to make them sack a, um, a ley line. Pretty nice. And then a trio of duress alongside two lilies. Because, well, if we can't use our removal, we gotta bring in hand control, and that's how we can win that matchup. And then at the very bottom, blocked by my coconut, is a breach the multi... Get down there, jeez. Breach the multiverse. Just a high-value play against a mid-range or a mirror deck. Not a mirror, but a... Mid-range or a reanimator deck that we can be able to gain a huge advantage of once all the dust has settled. So, my friends, if this is the first time at the Coliseum, smash that like button, hit subscribe. Our numbers grow every day thanks to every one of you fine and magnificent people. Where are we at? Three minutes? That's the perfect time. Enough with the talk. Let's get to the games. Oh, boy, that's a hand. Oh, and we got to ship this bad boy back. We don't do anything. We're on the draw. Now we can do better. Yeah, well, that's better. We're going to keep six here. I'm tempted, it's between putting back the Carnosaur or the Shelly, but the Carnosaur doubles up as removal, but the Shelly can help us get back into the game. Oh, I'm probably going to regret this, because he's going to go, I don't know, what do you think, Mountain Go? And I'm going to go, man, I'm really going to miss that life again. Nope. Hmm. Of course, we did not draw a land. We're going to be in Value Town once we can get to Value Town. What just happened? Ah, schooner. A schooner to sailboat. Let's go harvester. This probably means we're going to get clobbered next turn. We did not just make our third land. The good news is we did hit Gix. So there's a good chance we might be able to... Uh... Let me turn that down a little bit. Maybe it's only loud on my end. Hopefully it's not too loud on your guys' end. I'll double check it after this. What was I saying? I forget. Oh yeah, hopefully with the third land we're going to be able to Gix and get in there. Hmm, deep cavern bat. That's a B. No blocks here, sir. Hmm, Esper Schooner. Oh, great. Man, yeah, now we're in trouble. Hmm, big trouble. 
I think we're gonna go ahead and ditch one of these appraisers now. Oh, what do we ditch here? Gotta deal with three, four, because he's just gonna go bat, which means we can't hold, we can't use anoint with affliction to get rid of the schooner. Hmm. So what we could do is we could pop this, get rid of one of our appraisers, try to hit that land job. Yeah, that's probably what we gotta do here, otherwise we are in trouble. Probably still in trouble, but and again, we need a land. He's like, what's going on here? I said, oh, I'm trying to draw land. I did not draw land. Not good. Not good at all, people. Now I can't even remove the bat. And he's got a cut down, it seems, or something. Oh, he's got a cut down. Oh, folks, this is going bad for this unfortunate contender. He's going to take, if he hits us with the bat, he's going to go with the anoint with affliction. I guarantee it. Hmm. Oh lord. Oh lord. Hmm. I was gonna say, do we want to? Nah, we don't want to scoop. We hit lands, we're in good shape. We don't hit lands, we're in crappy shape. Yeah. So luckily we've got the Carnosaur. We hit that land and we did. to kill this dude now or at least try to that way he has to use the 3-3 three, three to activate the schooner but some some mischief coming on here ah okay well that's unfortunate we get the anoint with affliction back our best bet here is hopefully untap and just draw the fourth land into shelly be able to stabilize somewhat oh crap he drew the fifth land now he's got virtue oof it's gonna be tough folks it's gonna be tough yep well there's the land boop Yep, it's gonna be tough. We definitely need Shelly now. We go Shelly into Appraiser, or if we hit the fifth land, we go Car uh, Anoint with uh, Carnosaur on backup. Mm, it's gonna be interesting. Here it comes. We'll kind of need that fourth untapped land, and Shazam! Oh, right in the face. Yep. Same plan. Only we hold up anoint slash carnosaur, depending on what happens. Probably gonna have to anoint the schooner. Yikes. Might just be dead. Yep. Goes to combat. Shoot off the anoint. Hopefully be able to untap and play Shelly. Shelly will actually Shelly will not save us. Well then if we hit a fifth land. Oh, that won't work either. Yeah, we're screwed. No. Actually, if we go Appraiser into Removal Spell, we might be okay. Uh, yeah, probably not, actually. Mm, oh, actually, he's only going to draw a card. Oh, uh, yeah, probably not, actually. <laughs> ah, oh, no, he's not going to draw a card. All right, let's, uh, what do we got? We got nothing. Let's see, even if I hit this into a Removal Spell, I still die. So, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, oh, we hiccuped on those lands, and that's all it took. So, All right, what do we want to do here? What's working, what's not? We'll keep all of our removal. I don't know about Tenacious Underdog. Hmm. Think about something like Brotherhood's End. Definitely want that go for the throat. Do I want the Extract the Truth? Sacrifice is an enchantment. Otherwise, we hit a creature enchantment or Planeswalker. Eh, seems a little sus. Well, I probably want the other Anoint with Affliction. I don't think our cruelty plan is going to be as good here. He's staying pretty low to the ground. It's a slow plan. I could see taking out one or an anoint. I could see taking out the entire cruelty engine for, uh, not all of it though, but just more removal. Maybe like one more. So I don't want the cut down. I don't want the Gix's command. I don't want to our last sacrifice. Yeah, no, nah, probably not. A braid. Oh yeah, duh, braid. I'll take a braid. Oh, no, 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 no. Gix is not going to be too terribly impressive, so I can see going down to one. Keep these as kind of like miser cards. I like everybody else. Bonehorde Dracosaur very well could get out of here, but I feel like if it does make it, it's got the impact that we need. Only thing I'm looking at is Brotherhood's End. Do I want to bring that in? A timely Brotherhood's End could do wonders, and you probably won't see it coming. No, you might. Right now we got a bunch of removal. What would we take out for? We'd probably just go a little lower to the ground. 
it's kind of the opposite of what you want to do when you bring in a sweeper. <laughs> Hmm, yeah, I'll probably do something like that. I'm just thinking if I want to bring in anything else. Eh, let's run it back. I mean, there's still a lot of removal. We just have to draw lands. Yeah, yeah. I guess we gotta think about it like that. It wasn't our lack of removal that lost us the game. It was our crappy no-land draw. So, probably shouldn't change up things too terribly much. We'll take it. Four lands into stuff. This Priest of the Schism's gonna be doing some work. If he's got the bat, we've got the preacher. He doesn't, though. Yeah, no cut downs for you, sir. Now we can either go Shelly or we can go Gix, depending on what he does here. Cool thing is, if we attack now, we actually get both triggers. <laughs> Alright, cool. Yeah, so that means he's got the blocking power, which means we're probably not going to go... Well, yeah, we can go Shelly here. Let's get this over with first. Oh, that was dumb. Should have played the Shelly so I could gain the life. But then again, I want to make sure we maximize our options. He's taking it. Okay. I'm going to go Shelly. Because then we could set up for a... If we draw a land, a double drop. A two and a three drop. Otherwise, he commits his turn to killing the Shelly, and we got another one on the back burner. And at this point, we can play Gix. Oh, Deep Cavern Bats here. I'd like to hit a land drop here so we could get the double. If not, it'll probably be... Like I said, it all depends on what uh, what he's got here. Hmm. What could he possibly have? Hmm, interesting. That's all, folks. Well. I'm feeling an attack with everybody. Uh, da, 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 da. So I'll get to draw a card here. Yeah, let's attack with everybody. No reason to do anything pre-combat. Here we go. Fairy Mastermind. Oof. That's a good one. Nothing I can do about that. Yep. I mean, aside from ding him. Oh, the Restless Vents. I was like, what's it giving me priority for? I don't have removal. He could throw everybody in front of Shelly, but he's not. Interesting. I sense something coming. Does anyone else kind of get the feeling something is about to happen? No blocks. Like a sunfall or something retarded. Does anyone else kind of get that feeling? Let's play the Blood Tithe Harvester and pass a turn. This way, if he does sweep the board in some way, shape, or form, we can go double drop and get back into it. See if we sniffed it out. Interesting. Yeah, he's getting that one life out of it. We'll get Gix back, which is pretty cool. We can go Gix into Harvester or Preacher into Harvester. Interesting. Now there's a lot going on. Let's see what happens here. Virtue of loyalty, sure. It's an odd one. I mean, odd one to do in response. Mm. Let's see here. Black, black, red, red. So whatever it is has to be red. So it'd probably be... Uh, black, black. Color this. Uh, vampire, I guess. Makes the most sense. G Gix out there. We go Gix and then Priest of the Schism. Just attack with everybody. No response. Let's do this. Piles up everybody in front of Shelly, then we play Preacher. Sure. Knocks him down to four. And he 
Here we go. Another virtue of loyalty. Sure. It's a lot. The good news is he's got to double block things or triple block things, which leaves us not too open to... Yep. Here we go. See if he's got that sweeper. If he does, we untap, we drop Shelly and Preacher. If he doesn't, well, we're in pretty good shape. We untap, we drop Shelly, and we keep attacking. It depends on what he does here. Rafine. Oof. Now I wish I'd kept Shelly out. Should have named Praetor with that cavern. Just getting in for three. Mm hmm. Let's see what he discards. Hmm. I'm going to take it. Play the land. Let's play the bat. No response. Interesting. Hm, that's why there was no response. <laughs> Please do. Yeah, so you got a block. All right. It's all for me. He needs to do something before he draws. Peace! Slow and steady. So he does have Rafine. Does that change anything? Do I want that cut down more than anything else? Is it better than Anoint with Affliction? I don't think so. Man, he really is not in the game without those schooners. Cut down doesn't do anything against Schooner. Extract the Truth doesn't either. Neither does the Carnosaur. I think we're in good shape. The Gix wasn't as good as I would have hoped, so I think it's good as a one of. I'm just thinking if there's anything else I want to change. I do kind of like Lily in these situations, except he has Wedding Announcement, which makes Lily significantly worse. Yeah, I think we're alright. Do we want to change anything here? Nah, let's just get back into it. Hmm. <clears throat> Come on, baby. Let's see how we do on the draw. That's a keeper. Oodles of removal. Hmm. What's he got for us here? Schooner. It's a fortuitous draw. Let's see what we hit. Bat your bat! I guess for Fiend it is. Carnosaur can take care of uh, Mr. Mastermind. Yep. No blocks here, sir. Should probably take care of this right now before... Uh, Before this gets any more out of hand. Sorry, I was thinking about it. Holding up the mana for the draw, I see. Interesting. Got the Carnosaur in case something flashes in. Otherwise, I'll just go ahead and Geological Appraiser. Get some value. Oh, please do. Yep, thank you. 
All right, here we go. Let's see what we hit. Would have been a blood tithe harvester. That'd have been pretty good. And it's a blood tithe harvester. That's pretty good. <laughs> and so now we need to hit an untapped land so we can double spell. Otherwise, we'll just shelly. It'd be nice to be able to go harvester preacher. Kind of depends on what he draws, though. Because if we go now, a harvester could take care of a oh another rafine that pops up. We hit an untapped land. It'd be nice to make that double drop. And even then, we can still activate Harvester, pay for the ward, and then uh, Shelly. All right, no attacks here, sir. Oh, look at that. It's a thing of beauty. All right, let's go ahead. Let's get in with these guys. Hold up the Carnosaur, be able to play another creature if need be. I'm feeling we might be walking into an ambush, but then again, who kills? Hmm. Nope. Again, it kind of feels like something's up here, so I think I'm just going to go... Shelly. Because I've got the backup Shelly. Yeah, activate it before. Gix, nice. Anything in my hand that needs to go? No. Did he draw something? If he did, it's fine. I'm yeah, very mastermind. So good! Yep, yep, keep. He found something. I should have attacked with the bat. I'm not really too scared of Rafim. Oh, there it is. Uh, sure. What are we looking for here? We don't want him to have a Shelly of his very own. That would be the worst. Interesting. Let's get him for six. Got the Carnosaur in backup. We can go Carnosaur into Harvester. Set up Cruelty next turn to bring the Carnosaur back. That's pretty sweet. And we should be 100% attacking with everybody here. I should not have held the bat pack last turn. Let's give him the option. If he wants it back, he can have it back, and then we'll see what happens. The only thing I'm worried about, and it might have been a mistake, is if uh, opening myself up to the... Uh... Hmm. Opening myself up to the... Maybe I should just play the Cruelty of Gix. What do we got going on here? We got Shelly. Yeah, we can just see what his hand looks like. We can discard the Carnosaur next turn. Holy crap, that's his hand? Okay. Dang! I'm giving a little fist bump there. Sorry, homie. I feel you. I really do. Is it six? Hmm. Dang. That is the most brutal thing I have seen in a very long time. This whole time I thought he was playing us for a sweeper. Oof. Rafine. There she is. Or he is. Or it is. Or whatever. Oh my goodness. Well, you can discard lands freely now. Alright, what's the best card to shirt for? I'm just going to go for a uh, cut down. Oh, excuse me. No, because then he can exile Plaza of Heroes, but it sets him back a land. Let's see if there's anything I could get that would just win the game. Yeah, removal spell's not going to do it. It's the best card to have on the back burner. Probably just a removal spell, but like a go for the throat or an abrade. Eh, go for the throat's better than a braid here. I already have a Shelly. I already have everything we need there. Deep Cavern Bat's not going to do too much here, so... Nothing has haste. I'll just take a go for the throat. Uh, yeah, actually. Let's try to win. No, actually. That won't work. 
can't win doing that. Okay, well, let's go ahead and get in there, I guess. Play the appraiser, hold up the removal. No, I don't play the appraiser, I play the Shelly. Then hold up, go for the throat. See if he hit the counter spell. Oof. Interesting. Let's just get that bad boy out of there. Prepare to bring Shelly back. Hold up Trumpeting Carnosaur. Actually, I have to stop my upkeep just in case. Because we might just want to Carnosaur away the Urtai. Depends on what he's got here. Otherwise, I feel like Shelly's the best option. Wait, no, because then he just gives it whatever superpowers. Nah, let's just draw. We'll take the Shelly. There we go. That works. What's that last card? Okay, well, here we go. Crap. I just realized what I just did. Now he can attack Tsunami. Yep. But the good news is he'll tap out for it, and then I'll kill it with his trigger on the stack. So. Oh, my bad. Yeah, duh, you can do that too. Goes up to five, goes back down to two, and then dies, right? Maybe I'm missing something. Kind of depends on what he's got. Let's see what he's got during his upkeep, I guess. Preacher of the schism! It's all for me. Alright, what you got? Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness gracious! Now that deserves a nice. But then again, the dude has drawn nothing but lands this entire time. It's like... Man, yep, there's the dude. There's the restless events I've been waiting for. Hmm, Carnosaur away. Play the Gix and attack. See what that last card is. This way, if we by killing it first, we eliminate um, Wandering Emperor as an out. Because he can only Emperor away one thing. All right, let's do this. If it were an Urtai, I don't know. Uh, it's a Wandering Emperor. All right. He gets rid of the Preacher. Goes up to five and then takes six. I believe that is still a good game, my friend. Yes, very good. Boof, booga, 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 boom, baby. Yeah, value town. Gotta love it. Ooh, nice. Uh, well, I mean, it is a keeper. It's not the most impressive of keepers, but it is a keeper. And within Mulligan into Oblivion, maybe we can pick apart his hand with these uh, deep cavern bats and mm, come out ahead in the end. I don't know. Cruelty of Gix is, de <laughs> this is definitely, like, the best mold of five I've seen, you know, because these are useless. Hmm, I wonder what he's got. Where we at? Huh, interesting. All right, on time. Now, let's take a look-see, shall we? What do we got now? Oh, Lord. Yeah, I guess for Fiend it is. Hmm. 
Our bat's gonna what, hit another one. Oh, this is gonna be a long game, people. Oh my goodness. <laughs> That works. Oh boy, long, long game. Unless he's like, Rafine off the top. Oof, brutal. No blocks here, kind sir. Hmm. How much does this cost to activate? What does this cost to activate? Three? Okay, he can't activate it. That's what I was. I was trying to figure out what was holding priority because we could be walking into a. We could be walking into a, uh, a Ganjo duty daddy. You know what I'm talking about? What am I thinking of? What am I thinking of? Huh. Anywho, so restless vents. We can go and attack. We could also go tenacious underdog. We could blitz it out because blocking's not really doing much for us. It just gives him another threat. We blitz it out. We get in. We try to draw our fourth. Our fifth land for Cruelty of Gix. I don't hate that. Yeah, let's do it. Unfortunately, the Restless Anchorage is going to be holding priority this entire time, so there's no way to know what is, like what he's got and what it could mean for us. He could have. I don't pretty much anything. All right. Well, Shelly's not bad, per se. Gives us something to do if we don't hit this fifth land. Well, he hit his, so now we can't attack anymore, which puts us at a slightly bit of disadvantage. Hmm, priest at the schism. Let's go priest here. Yeah, I won't be any attacking. So, just play priest. See what he's got. Nope. <laughs> nope. Esper. Man, is it like Esper days? Everyone playing Esper? Oh boy. Alright, well. I'm just thinking if I want to go Cruelty of Gix. See what's going on in that hand of his. Yeah. Let's see what he's got. Oh, maybe not. Maybe he drew a counter spell. Yeah. This is only gonna help him though if we uh if he's if his other card is not a Ah crap. Yeah, this means I have to make him discard the Oh. Oh that's in his is that in his graveyard? Oh he has no cards in hand. Uh no, we can't do that. That's dumb. I can attack with all three. I, mean, I can attack with both. He'll just get back his Wandering Emperor and have a new one. Uh, let me think about this. We attack him with both Deep Cavern Bats. He gets back one of his cards. Probably. Yeah. He'll either get the Rafine or the... Actually, you know what? We attack with all of it. It dies no matter what. Attack him with just the Preacher. And then we kill it next turn. No, we can't kill it next turn because of that. Ah, dang. This is tough. So we attack it with both. He gets to kill one, get the other Wandering Emperor back, and then we live in fear of it until next turn. No. Nah, no attacks. Forget it. <laughs> That's the easy solution. We'll go ahead and search our library for something that helps. Probably a trumpeting carpet up a double down. Yep, Denik is back. Yeah, go get a trumpeter. Yep. Yep, definitely getting a trumpeter. Oh, well, I guess I don't need to do that then. Well, in that case, um. What do I get here? Hmm. Could just grab another trumpeter. Yeah, let's grab the bone horde. Oh, we could grab a two drop. That way we could do more than one thing this turn. What good two drops do we have? We got anoint with affliction. We could anoint the Denik. 
Hmm, sure. That works. Yeah, that stinks. We go back to Carnosaur next turn, and we have some fun. Why didn't Preacher do anything? I had the most... No. Oh, duh. I gotta attack a player. So dumb. So dumb. Read the card, bro. Whenever he attacks a player, not when he attacks, then it triggers based on the player you're attacking. I gotta attack a player for that. Boo. Ah, Ganjo, Seat of the Empire. That's what I was thinking of. That's a good one. Let's see what he's up to. Let's just turn to a two, three. What's he got? Nope. He's got to go for the throw. Reasonable. Now he can't activate his dude, which is good, so... Yep. That's, come on. Yeah, let me go to combat, please. You, 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 please, please. Thank you. Get in there. Ugh, so dumb. Can't believe I forgot about Preacher. Read the effing card, bro. It's not difficult. All right, what are the odds he top decks like a sweeper and we just get punked by this play? As I say... I don't think he plays sweepers. This seems more like Esper shenanigans. All right, so let's think about this again. Okay, I've seen everybody here. So, Cruelty of Gix. You can take two of those out. Keep the high end. Keep one Gix out. Well, the thing is, we didn't see any of the wedding anniversary like last time, so we might be okay with sneaking some of the stuff. We didn't see Schooner, so I'm not going to bring in my random crap. I'm bringing a Noit with Affliction because it's pretty good. We're going to go for the throat for the extra removal. See, I usually would bring in a braid, but since we haven't seen that, I guess I could go with an additional cut down. I mean, I gotta imagine this is very similar to what we expect to see. Hmm, let's see here. So everybody's good here. We're decent here. We still got some semblance of the combo, but not a lot of it. Cruelty of Gex is really one that it's like, eh, either it wins the game or it just loses. I think we're all right with that. Yeah. I mean, if we need to, we'll swap it up for a Brotherhood's End and a Braid, but we haven't seen Schooner. If we don't see Schooner, it's usually a safe bet that we do not need those cards. Hmm. Not to mention, like I said, Wedding Anniversary, cranking out those tokens. Ah, uh, sh... Mm, awkward. We'll try it, though. It's gonna be painful. Play Soul for Springs... <laughs> I spoke too soon, eh? Let's go annoy it with affliction here. I should have known they all play Schooner. We should just assume they play it. Uh, let's go Vampire. Hmm, interesting. So he's got removal, but he doesn't have counter spells. Very interesting. He did. He'd been cut down. Hmm. Do I want to try... Trade an appraiser? Nah. Yeah. <laughs> of course. Ah, pass. There you go. Might as well. 
Another cut down. Mwahaha. It's fine with me, homie. Yeah, I don't want to auto pass because we could walk right into a uh, fairy mastermind popping up. So next time we'll just go geological appraiser and keep it up. Oof. Keep the pressure on. And he's got another removal spell? Yeah. Let's see what do we get. Well, now he knows we got the cut down. Cut downs for days. We're going to be cutting everything down. Well, so does he. I mean, it's only fair. He drew so many cut downs. We draw so many cut downs. Hmm. I already got double red. I think I'm just going to say human here. Yeah. I was like, there is a human. I love the human. Oh, yeah. I was like, why isn't it tapping that? And it is. Keep the value up. Let's see if we can hit a threat this time and not another removal spell to hold on to. So he's got either a go for the throw or the fourth cut down. <laughs> oh, I wanted all those lands. Well, let's see what happens here. It's been nice. We can finally see what's going on in that hand. Here comes the cut down, number four. Oh, at least it's a go for the throw, right? I think I am a ditch this cut down in a turn. Wow. So we did have everything we were worried about. Spell pierce, brutal. He just needs to hit a white source and then we're doomed. Ah! I meant to hit good game, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to do angry dude. <laughs> that sucks, homie. All right, oh, that's what I'm talking about. Yes, that's a keeper. I'm gonna have to name. I'm gonna have to name Vampire. Unfortunately, it doesn't really mesh well with the rest of my hand. But maybe we'll draw another land. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, it'll be fine. Give me. All right, what do we got? Sea Chrome Coast. Oh my goodness. Um, what's the scariest thing here? The wedding announcement? Then we just deal with the rest of it as we have to. We could get the Rafine out of there and get the other Rafine out of there and then just make him be wedding announcement aggro. Story Evil is not going to do much for a while. Yeah, I think Rafine is the scariest thing. Got that wedding announcement though. We don't have any removal. We play the second Deep Cavern Bat next turn. We take either the other Rafine, and then he goes Wedding Announcement. Well, let's go with the Rafine plan. Blood Tithe Harvester or Gix can hold down the ground for it. Okay. Virtue of Loyalty, I imagine. Or does he have a removal spell? Nope, he's got the virtue. Now, if that other card is a removal spell, this will get very awkward. It is not. Okay, Rafine it is. This is where we can get Gix engine going. God, three for three with Esper. What are the odds of that crap? No blocks here, sir. And here comes wedding announcement. I imagine. I don't know what he could have drawn here. I say I can't think of one thing outside of Rafine that's better than wedding announcement, but. Oof, let's see if we can draw some lands. Nope. Nope. Oof, that's awkward. Luckily, everything here is outside of... Oh my goodness. Need some lands here, people. That destroy evil is going to keep uh, certain things from happening. Land? Oh my goodness. Land? Okay. Let's go with the bat. Bat into harvester. Keep the bat train going. What is this? He 
Yeah, if he untaps and goes land into virtue, we might still be in trouble somehow. After all of this has been said and done. There it is. Virtue it up, homie. Now we, you know, we got Shelly. He's not going to be attacking this turn. Yep. Yep. The army grows. Now, hmm. If we're going to play Shelly. We probably should have played it right there. But then again, I'm waiting to see what we draw. Actually, yeah, there's no reason not to play Shelly there. Unless I wanted to double spell. Do I want a priest into harvester or just get Shelly going? Shelly just dies. What am I doing? That's why I didn't play Shelly. I knew there was a reason. Carnosaur into cruelty. I think I like that better, actually. Oh, I could just discard one of the Carnosaurs, but it wouldn't be the fun in that. I'll discard the Gix. Now, do I want to kill the... Let's kill the 4-4. Four, four. Now we can go Carnosaur to get rid of a 3-3. Three, three. We might just have to block everybody. But that's fine with me. Here we go. Anything we can do to stop his army and maintain ours. Got no man lands hiding up there, right? I don't believe so. Can't play priest. Can't play anything. Feels kind of silly about discarding the gigs now. Oh well. Beep bop boop. Yeah, let's let's get the uh, let's get the destroy evil out of his hand. I can get Shelly on the board. Oh jeez, <laughs> value town baby. <laughs> God, discover's fine, guys. Discover's totally fine. This is fine. This is all fine. Sure, why not? All of the above, homie. Oh, he dead. You know, for now. He drew Sunfall. Like, holy crap. Alright, yep. I'll say that's a GG. Dang. Alright, well, he had some pretty crappy jaws, so we gotta keep that in mind. So, once again, do we assume the schooner is there? That's interesting. Each opponent discards a card. If each opponent can't, you draw a card. Whenever an opponent discards a land card, you get a bat. And then he comes back. Very interesting. Okay, well, let's see here. I think we just stick with our normal plan. Go down Cruelty, go down Gix. Bring in Anoint with Affliction, go for the Throat. Yeah, I'm not sure I'm sure on a Braid just yet. Cut down, i just go like that. Keep the big end, keep the big, big end stuff. Yeah, yeah, that hasn't, hasn't done us wrong so far. Dang, dude. Best of three is just Esper Haven, huh? God. That means I gotta play best of one and have to play mono red every match, which would suck. All right, wow, value town, baby. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna ship that one back. That's better. All right, one, two, three. I guess we'll get rid of a preacher. Hold on to the appraiser for that sweet, sweet value. Get rid of all my value lands. See how predictable we are. Virtue of loyalty, baby. All right, what's he got here? Boop. Hmm. You can cut that bad boy down. I'll have to keep that in mind for later. Rafine it is. Tie binder is interesting. No blocks here, sir. I will take my pounding. <coughs> I should have thought that one through. Let's make sure nothing happens to our little dude.
the preacher is here to spread the gospel. Wow, that was retarded. Definitely can do better than that. <laughs> well, obviously not. Oh, man, we're going to do something about this. This uh, Gix's command. Because we're in trouble otherwise. Good news is this preacher attacks next turn. We should be able to make a dude and uh, draw a card. Try to find either a deep cavern bat or something. Otherwise, he casts it. The board gets destroyed. I play appraiser and we're back in the game. Interesting. See what happens here. He may just go for the... Uh... Yep. Which one is he going to counter? Cavern bat. That's pretty perfect. Just kill the tide binder and then cavern bat the uh Cavern bat away the Gix's command. Play the old restless vents. Pass turn. He gets one of my appraisers. I start beating his face in. Hopefully he didn't draw the fifth land to be able to double spell me. Ooh, ooh, that's brutal. Ooh, that's very brutal. Uh, let's see if we can find a removal spell before this snowballs out of effect. Or, you know. Whew. Play the old tap land and pass a turn. Gonna go for the bat for the appraiser. Yep. Gonna once again halt the attacks. Appraiser's out. Let's just keep drawing cards. Nice. Probably just go appraiser into. Well, let's see what appraiser hits. Play the Haunted Ridge, since he knows it's there. That way we don't have to worry about, uh... Oh, okay. Oh, double Shelly. I'll hold on to that, actually. That way, if a Rafine shows his ugly face again, we can just cut him down. And he hasn't even got the mana for Gix's command yet. So now we can attack with everybody but the Gix's command one. Assuming he doesn't do anything, of course. Man, what must his hand be? That's my question. Keep it up, baby. Keep that pressure up. Settle the wreckage. No! And he's going to counter it, which is fine. And then we'll see what he does. Can't double block this time. Well, I guess he can. Oh, he didn't counter it. Yeah, it's fine with me, man. I'm just going to play the appraiser. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Seat of the Empire. Dead. Beep, bop, boop, pop. Everyone trades back. Let's do the time warp again. Yeah, just hold off. I don't want to play another preacher. I got lethal on board. He knows I've got the removal, double removal spell in hand, so let's make him deal with us. Good game, opponent. Dang, we're just praying on Esper today. Well, hmm. Usually we stop there, but man, we're crushing it. Eh, well, almost a diamond. All right, maybe one more. Oh, uh, well, okay, sure. Hmm. This is reasonable. Nice little curve here. 
Well, we're missing our bat. What are we playing against? Hmm. He's probably gonna be breathing a sigh of relief. He's like, it's not doing anything. Yeah, it's true. We'll get there though. Don't you worry. One thing Cascade is very good about is getting us back into the th swing of things. I right, by Cascade, of course I mean Discover. Oh, <laughs> I'll still leave me. That's Aspar's headquarters, all right. That is what that is, Mr. Hector Boss, sir. Yep, okay. We didn't have to worry about getting those lands. We found them. Like, pretty much, what does this thing do? It's like, ooh. Terrarium Stomper. Seems reasonable. Hmm, so Sunfall most likely. Yeah, game one, this is gonna be a little trickier. Hmm, okay. Let's see what we draw. Need to find our bats. Nope, that ain't it. Hmm. Do we walk into the Sunfall? Yeah, we need to find a bat. So this is the best way to find a bat. And maybe it's not a Sunfall. Oof, can't wait for that to come out. That could have been a duress. Oh, okay, we got another turn. Go for the throat can do something this turn. Oh, we should probably hit him with cruelty, actually. We'll probably attack with the preacher and hit him with cruelty. Yeah, because we're going to need to draw a card, and if he blocks with the top area stomper, it'll kind of give us enough of a hint of what is going on, so we can cruelty of Gixim and hopefully hit something like a, uh, I mean, a Traxa or something really scary. Otherwise, we're going to need many, much, much, much more value. Topiary Stomper. What did I say? Terrarium Stomper? Does he have the land drop to attack? We have to block with the vampire. Yes, he does. Could just double block. Just kill it. I don't hate it. I don't hate it at all, actually. Just kill it. Gain a life. Stay ahead on the life range so I can keep drawing cards. Cruelty. Let's see what he's got. Oh boy. Well, we got the Atraxa, but we gotta deal with the... Uh, oh, oof, boy. Oof, oof, boy. We can have Atraxa next turn, that's pretty cool, but we're gonna have to deal with a pretty big army. Yep. This is where we need the Miser's, uh... Oh, the Miser's uh, path. What do we got here? Uh, an army of three threes to deal with. What else is in his hand? Herd migration. We could take the deep cavern. We could take a bat. Then we could go Shelly and bat. It's not the worst idea ever. Get the other one out of his hand. Ah, oh, cripes. Well, then clearly we gotta take Archangel of Wrath. They always take the removal spell. Play Shelly. Uh, nope. Hmm. Might just get punked, but we're about to draw a new hand, potentially, unless he top takes a ley line. Uh, hold your breath. We don't want him top taking a ley line. Oof. That's a good one. Nice. It definitely deserves a nice. Yeah, we'll definitely take a land. What he does not realize is that I also have another one. He is going to get to flip his invasion, but we'll get to kill two of his creatures. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Should I just cut down the token? No, because there are blood things I could be sacri or discarding it to. Is he getting in there? Didn't think so. Alright, who wants a new hand? I do. <laughs> I'll beat you with your tracks, a fool! Alright, so cruelty, pretty good. Alright, what well, goes up? Cut down, out. Anoint with affliction, out. Go for the throat and stay for now. Uh, Trumpeting Carnosaur, see the engine's not amazing here. Like, Bone Horde Dracosaur is not amazing here. Gonna need Duress. Gonna need Lily. Gonna need Breach. Hmm. Extract the truth. Now, what else are we getting rid of here? Alright. Let's just lay everybody out. See, so go for the th Tenacious Underdog and go. 
Gix is not at his best, but neither is Preacher. Well, Preacher's better than Gix here, so what we could do is go ditch the Gix. Hmm. Yeah, Blood Tide Harvester isn't going to be doing much in this matchup, so we could ditch. It'll mix us into a much slower game, but then again, cutting a lot of threats. Got the Bat, got the Gix, got the Harvester, got the Preacher. We may not need... We could just trade out the go for the throats for the Liliana since they won't have a board. But he also has that dumb courier duty, so he'll have a token. Don't want to go too low. I want to keep the cruelty because of his endgame. Probably could bring in a Brotherhood's End if we really wanted to, but I don't. Um, I guess I could go down one Gix. That's not a bad idea. It's either one Gix or one Preacher, but Preacher at least trades with anything on the ground he's got. So let's try it like that. Play the discard game, hope we can keep ahead of him, and go from there. Hey, at least it's not Esper. At least we get a little bit of variety here. Just a pinch. That's all you get. Just a pinch of variety. Give us some goods, baby. Give us some goods. I would call that some goods. Turn one to rest, turn two harvester, leading up to Shelly. What do we got here? Sun falls a ways away. Leyline binding is probably the most annoying thing. That gives us a lot more time to hopefully pull something up. We're going to need to find some more junk. I mean, we have a lot of discard. He's, key, he's playing a slower game, which is nice for us. All right, let's go. Let's do this. I'll probably hold this out for Praetor. I don't know for. I wonder if there's any other Phyraxians on my list. Got to be careful, though. Is he going to play it as a 2-2? Two -two? He is not. All right, we're going to need to draw a card. We're going to need to find our, our discard. We have a lot of discard here. We just got to find it. So we'll be able to draw a card from Preacher and hopefully be able to cycle through with this bad boy. What is this? Oh, Cavern or Souls, duh. He's got double white already. He's got four lands. Oh, great. Now we know he's got it. So this is the turn. Boom. There it is. Mirax is going to be holding priority, although he could have drawn anything that holds priority here. So we're going to test it and see. All right. Make sure it's uncounterable just in case that's a thing. What else has he got? Nothing. All right. All we got to deal with is a bunch of 2-2s. Two Probably going to trade out a Sulphur Springs for something else end of turn. Yep. But he has a ton of draws that can make our life very bad. Something looked like it held priority for one mana. What would hold priority for one mana in this deck? He doesn't have five land types, so we know it's not Ley Line. What could it be? Oh, Shiza. That's what it is. Oh. Okay. Hmm. Well, this is awkward. Tag with everybody. Still on the lead as far as life goes. Nice. Good cruelty of Gixim, because he might be building up to a... Uh, Draw two cards, discard two, unless you discard a creature card. You get an emblem with knights. Um, do I want to stop that, or do I want to cruelty him and make sure he doesn't have an angel popping out on us? He doesn't have anything. Okay. All right. This is where we're at. Unfortunately, he's going to get his planeswalker. What could we search our library for? Extract the truth? No. Probably just a duress. Not up to breach status yet. 
but he does get to loot here, which is scary. I might have... What's the front of this? Six? Yeah, I probably should have held back Harvester, but I really want to get his life under control there. Make an emblem. Tap any number of them. Tap two. Shuffle target non-land permanent opponent controls mana value X or less. All right, he gets to draw two, discard two, which is pretty good. So the best thing we can do here is search our library for something like a duress. Oh, I don't know, probably a deep cavern bat. That way I can hit anything in there. Is it six? We gotta get the Shelly on the board, so it might just be best to go. Bat, Shelly. What do you discard? Two lands. Got it. Do, 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 do. Oh, did he find it? He found it, that's fine. Oh, he found Nissa! Oh, interesting. So he makes a 6-6. Six, six. No, he destroys an artifact or enchantment. All right, that works. Okay, so what do we got here? Okay, makes a dude. Draws cards. He can't shuffle it away. Knock him to three, attack with everybody. And there are three attackers. Doesn't make a difference if I do anything else. Nice. That! Yep. Nope, we have a plan. I'm gonna knock him to one. Yep. Let's do it. What's that other card? Nice. Alright. It's on you, homie. We do not want to see a removal spell here. Well, actually, it'd have to be a sweeper. We do not want to see an additional sweeper. <gasps> Booyah! Bo -bo 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 Booyah! Oh, let's just do it. Let's just do it. Let's let it glisten, baby. Oh, that's right. Put that ring on that finger. Come on. Come on. Oh. Diamond's a woman's best friend. Hey, we are back for the wrap-up. Jesus. <laughs> he made that look easy. Wow. Yeah, that was nice, man. You don't even need Bro Bone Horde Dracosaur. Just here to be sighted out. But at the same time, God, everything was great. Everything kind of played its part pretty perfectly. I don't think I'd change a single thing. How many lands are we running? 25? Yeah, the, the, there could be an argument for a 26th land, but what would you... I mean, obviously, the only thing I'd cut is the Bone Horde Dracosaur, and I don't really, really want to cut it. I really like him as a solo, like a one-of, just to kind of top the curve, take over the game once you've exhausted throwing resources at each other, but man, this deck can fight a resource battle. It's almost like, you know, Cascade was the most broken mechanic ever for a reason, and bringing it back in another form probably was not the smartest idea. In fact, there's already been bannings of certain uncommons because of that, but eh, what do I know? The point is, this deck is money, people. Money! I would definitely pick it up, give it a shot, as you saw. Granted, all we played was Esper and, you know, Domain, but still, those are the period, those, if those are the pillars of the format, we just spanked them. Like, I mean, <laughs> let's be honest, that was a spanking. The deck did its job, so... All right, my friends, as always, smash that like button, hit subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you for coming, and if you're still here, man, you are the real MVP. Mwah.